Welcome to session three. Uh, we're going to be talking um, a little bit more again about where to file and the costs. Uh, so we're on the top of page eight. And so the very first bullet point says click on the website for the courthouse and there's usually information that tells you the cost for filing your case. So now here's the time you're trying to figure out, you know, what do I need, to, how much money do I need to bring to me with the courthouse? You know, what should I expect? You know, how much is this going to cost me to get it started? Um, and so the first sub bullet point there says the filing fee is the fee to file your case. Here in Texas, you know, depending on what county you're in, it's about $300 just to file. Um, then there's a citation fee. That is the fee for the papers that tells your husband that he's being sued. Uh, and so some people are like, you know, do I need that? You know, why is that required? And it's a constitutional thing. And really what that means is, you know, if there's going to be a court that decides what happens to your stuff and what happens to your kids, then you have to have official notice to, to know that, that you're being sued and that a court can decide what happens to your stuff and your kids. And so we need to make sure that they have something called personal service. In other words, there's someone that hands, personally hands them the papers so that they can't say, well, I didn't know and, you know, didn't nobody explain me nothing. And, you know, I didn't you know, understand that there was an actual court case against me and that a judge could take, can, you know, can decide what happens. And so that's what that is for. That's the purpose of the citation. Okay, the next bullet point says, um, the service fee is the fee for having your husband serve the divorce papers by a constable or sheriff, or it could be also a private process server, and we'll talk about that in, in just a minute. Okay, be prepared to pay these fees at the time you want to file your case. So the you know, day you want to get things started, that's when, you, that's when you have to pay them. So if you look in the, on the website for the courthouse, they'll give you what's called a schedule of fees or a list of fees. And so you'll, you'll, have, you'll know beforehand um, what's going to be expected of you financially. Okay, the next uh, bullet point says, get the telephone number for the clerk's office. Get the telephone number because in the, in, we'll talk about in a minute the reasons why you may want to call. Okay, the next bullet point is some courthouses now are paperless. Some courthouses, courthouses now are paperless. Um, so you need to call to find out whether you can still file, you know, um, a, a hard copy or a paper copy of your documents if you're representing yourself. And, you know, in Texas, if you're an attorney, you have to e-file, you have to file digital copies. Um, but there are exceptions if, you know, if you're a lay person, you know, if you're not a lawyer and you still want to file something, you absolutely have a right to represent yourself, but you want to make sure um, that that's the case in, in the state and the county that you live in. So you, you call the clerk's office to find out, say, hey, you know, I'm just an ordinary person. I'm, I'm representing myself. I want to file for divorce. Can I file a paper copy of the documents or do I have to e-file? And if you have to e-file, then find out what are the requirements for that. Or a lot of times they'll direct you to a part of their website that explains step by step what you need to do. Last bullet point on page eight, it says, uh, find out the office hours for the clerk's office. Uh, you can either find out online or you can, you can call to find out what the, what the clerk's office hours are. And I say that because some counties, again, if they're smaller, sometimes they close for lunch. And you think, you know, oh, you know what? I need to take care of this and that. I'm going to run over on my lunch hour and take care of this and go to the clerk's office on my lunch hour. And you get there and the daggone office is closed. You know, you don't want to find yourself in that situation. Um, you want to make sure that you know the office hours or you think, you know, I'm going to get out of work a little bit early and I'll go over there and take care of it then. You know, there are some uh, office, uh, clerk's offices that close early on certain days. Like, for example, in, uh, I believe in Denton County, Texas, on Wednesdays, the office hours are up until 3.30 not five o'clock, 3.30. So if you think you can get off work early on a Wednesday and get over and get something done, you know, let, unless you get off before, you know, three o'clock, <laughs> you know, so just know that those kinds of things can happen. And, you know, it's not unusual for there be the different times during different days that the clerk's office may be open or closed. All right. Um, page nine, find out if they accept credit cards for payment. 
Um, if not, it may just be cash or money order. Some courthouses, um, most courthouses will not accept personal checks. As a matter of fact, I can't think of any courthouse that, that will accept a personal check. Um, now, if you're a lawyer, if you have a, you know, a check for your law firm, they'll accept that. But otherwise, they don't accept any checks. Um, the last bullet point on page 9 says, um, find out if you're able to make copies at the courthouse. Now, most courthouses do have a copy machine. It's usually in the law library. Uh, but, you know, some of them don't. So you need to make sure they'll say, you know, you know what, there's a, a Staples, you know, two miles away from here. And that's where we usually send people to get copies. So you just need to know that. And again, you know, just like getting there and finding that the clerk's office is closed, you don't want to get there and be absolutely frustrated. You're already, you know, nervous and a little bit scared and maybe a little bit anxious and really feeling like you're making silly mistakes. It can put you in a place where you start to feel defeated and anxious and really, uh, it, it really chips away at your confidence and you being able to do this. And so you want to make sure that you're firing all cylinders, that you're absolutely as prepared as you could possibly be. Um, and so find out uh, if they do have a copy machine, find out if it accepts credit cards, if they accept um, you know, bills, how big a bill, sometimes they only accept you know, a bill that's up to $5. Um, and, and a bill no larger or just coins you know sometimes they still have coin operated copy machines because sometimes you know they just don't have the budget to upgrade their copy machines so you need to know what to bring um, and also ask uh, how much it costs per page to make copies so you know you want to find out you want to call and find out all that information up front before you actually get down there all right so that's the end of session three let's move on to session four